What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Odd Shopper, and the season rolls on. NFL Week 5 is upon us, and you know what that means? You know what that means? It means buys, and for survivor purposes, buys are not our friend. It makes it that much more difficult, just less games, less teams available. Each week, we knock a team off the list as well, so if you are still alive in Week 5, your, your pool is thinning out. Most of us are eliminated uh, there has been upsets. Week four really didn't produce that much. The Eagles held on. Um, the Chiefs held on. Some of the bigger spreads were able to get through. But let's take a look at week five. I'm here to talk about, I'm going to give you three options for Survivor. Teams to consider if you're looking to make your pick. That's what we do here at Odd Chopper. From NFL to NBA to college basketball, college football, everything you want, we've got. Let's take a look around. See what, see what you see. And if you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe to this very channel. Let's dive into these games. I'm filming this early in the week. And you may see this later in the week. So you may know the result of this game. But as I speak, it's only Tuesday morning. There is a Thursday night game. It's ugly. It's disgusting. It's the Bears and the Commanders. But for Survivor, you have to consider this game. You really do. Why? Because if you're in a large field pool, if you're planning for the long haul, getting rid of Washington is extremely important. Now, Money line wise, I brought up Odd Chopper just to give you kind of a feel for what we're looking at. They're sitting, you know, in the 280 to 300 range on the money line, about a seven point favorite, six and a half point favorite. I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that we will not see Washington at this number for the rest of the year. That doesn't mean you have to take them, obviously, but this is probably the best spot to take them for this team individually. If you use them in week one against Arizona, as many people did, you don't have them available. Uh, but if you didn't, this is probably it because the bears are awful. They blew a 28 to seven lead at, at home against Denver. They're not doing anything. Washington, I thought made like a lot of people, I thought they made a huge mistake, not going for two against the Eagles, but just hanging in that game shows that they, they can be competitive and Sam Howell for as bad of a game as he had in week three, uh, you know, he's shown some promise. This team has got some things working and they are at home here against the bears team. This is a complete short of the bears. You will see people go here for survivor. There is no doubt in my mind. If you're planning for the long haul, getting rid of Washington is extremely lucrative if you can survive, but it's also very uncomfortable to back Washington. So that is the risk reward that you have to deal with. If you don't use them here and you know, you got matchups with the giants and things like that, but I'm not sure you're going to find a minus 280 Washington money line for the rest of the season. So to get things started, the Thursday night game, you have to consider going with the Commanders in Survivor this week. So we got one on the board, two more for you. But I also want to mention, you see it there in big letters, and now it's going to be full screen with me pointing. Bet365 has an offer right now that when you hear it, it's kind of a double take because it's bet $1, a dollar, and get 365 in bonus bets. A dollar for 365. I mean, just absolutely nuts. Uh, it's only available in certain states. Bet365 is not everywhere, but if you're in, and I'm going to rattle off the states right now, so listen up. New Jersey, Colorado, Virginia, Ohio, Iowa, and now Kentucky, you are eligible for this offer. The link is in the description below. All you got to do is sign up. You can deposit 10 or more and claim this offer Bet one, get 365 in bonus bets. You do have to be 21 plus 18 in Kentucky. Please play responsive. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. But man, 365 in bonus bets is a fantastic opportunity. Take advantage of that. Now, let's move on to the second option for Survivor this week. You got some big favorites. I'm scrolling through the biggest favorite on the board. You always have to at least consider that if you want to go conservative. That would be the Miami Dolphins. Taking on the New York football giants, who is on, they're on a short week. They gave up double digit sacks to the Seahawks. Danny Dimes threw a killer pick six. That was at home. The offensive line is in shambles. Saquon did not play. Wow. What happens on Sunday? I mean, will, will, will Thomas return to that offensive line? Will Saquon be able to give it a go? We don't know just yet. But even, even if that all happens, they're in a world of hurt against Miami. Miami's north of a minus 500 money line favorite. The Giants have just been awful. They've been decimated uh, by some injuries. They didn't really have a lot going on anyway. Dallas crushed them. The Niners crushed them. The Seahawks crushed them. 
it seems like Miami is going to crush them. Uh, and this is a spot with the Dolphins. They're coming off a tough loss. They were handled by Buffalo. Um, Buffalo's a really good team, and that was on the road. You know, coming off a 70-point output, you knew there was going to be some regression, and I'm not shocked to see the Bills win that game, but I would be pretty damn shocked to see the Giants win this game. Miami's a team, you know, again, who they'll have spots in the future. They've got the Jets a couple times. they got things like that. But it wouldn't be the worst spot to go to them. Very conservative. They're the biggest favorite on the board. So I don't really need to make it a long-winded, you know, the Dolphins are, are a clear favorite for obvious reasons. The Giants on a short week, they can't protect their quarterback. It's hard to think that the Dolphins won't be able to exploit that secondary with those weapons and all the time they give to a, if you have the team available and you're not too worried about the opportunity cost, I think the Miami Dolphins are as safe as you can be for week five. So that's the second option. Before I give you my final option here, I do want to mention, I I think Odd Shopper, of course, is amazing in so many different ways. Uh, This is just a live odd screen. This helps you paint a picture, whether it's spreads or money lines or totals, anything like that. But I will quickly give you guys a peek inside the ropes, to the market-based approach, to everything that got going on, the ability to filter and sort and find real-time data about profitable spots is so, so crucial. I use this every day. They've got a bankroll tracker over here. Plug it in and adjust your bets. And you can see. So like, we'll just use this as an example. You look at this, it'll show you what other additional odds we have available, if any. You see for Sam Howell here, you see, okay, DraftKings, this is maybe the spot for me at 110. You see the other lines. You see why it's valuable. And again, this updates in real time. You can filter. You can say, well, I'm not on some of these books. I only want to see certain ones. Look at that. It does it for you immediately. It is that simple. Great tool to have if you want to test this out for yourself. If you believe in this process, save some money when you get it. 50% off code NFL50 right below in the links, right next to the bit 365. You'll see it there. Odd Chopper Premium. Join us. Be part of this. Take your betting game to the next level uh, and let us know what you think. If you ever have questions, you can always tweet me at JazzRazDFS, but we need to find a third pick for Survivor, the pick that I would be going to. Let's see. NFL, bring up the live odds once again. I'll go to Moneyline just so we can do this. I've been splitting the difference in Survivor a couple times. And what I mean by that, I'm not going to the most obvious favorite and not the most aggressive of the teams. That would be Washington in terms of the top three. I'm going to the Lions who, listen, let's be clear. They're going to be very popular in Survivor too. This is not sneaky. This is not breaking any news. They're taking on an 0-4 Panthers team. Bryce Young's got a lot of issues right now. They're banged up. They got all sorts of problems. They're going in to Detroit. The Lions are good. Three and one. Goff has got every weapon available. He's doing a great job. Certainly that pass rush is getting better. That defense is getting better. The Lions are a good team. They have to be taken seriously. They're probably the leaders. uh, You know, they could run away with the North potentially. North of minus 400 on the money line, a sizable favorite here. It all comes down to that opportunity cost. Who are we going to target the Lions against in the future? They're home against the Raiders. They're home against the Bears. They're home against the Broncos. All three of those are very, very reasonable spots if you want to save the Lions. I totally get that. Uh, So this is not one where it's now or never, like the commanders in my mind. Detroit has ample spots in the future, but I also think that this is as good a spot as you can get. And with a lot of people already losing in Survivor, if you're still in your pool, you really need to gauge, is there 30% of people left? Is there 8% of people left? The lower that percentage is, the more conservative I think you can be. A team like Detroit, to me, checks almost every box that you can want. I actually like them in the game straight up, you know, talking about with the points. Uh, So clearly, I think they're going to win the game. And for Survivor, I'll call for them to survive in advance and move you on to week six. So there we have it. Detroit Lions for Survivor, but a lot of options available. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in. The support has been unbelievable at Odd Chopper this year, and it's because of everyone watching. Can't say enough how thankful we are, and I love doing these videos, and I hope that you guys find them useful, informative, profitable, and maybe even a little entertaining at times. But I'm going to bounce on out of here. Let's see if we can get through uh, this week without more landmines in Survivor. But for me... For the Commanders, the Dolphins, and the Lions, good luck. Enjoy all the games, no matter your bet and survive or anything in between. And come back next week, same time, same place.